our toolbox open and with our extensions on, we now want to look at measuring residential density. This is now a good time to go back to your data view so you can work with your data. You will notice that there are several different land uses in the data we are using. At the moment, we only want to work with residential land uses and work out the density or the number of units or dwellings per hectare within there. So the first thing you need to do is isolate the residential information. So if we head up to the select toolbar, and we want to, there are two ways to select data, by location or by attribute, because we know the attributes in this case, we will select attributes, and this gives us select box. Once our box is open, we then select the data we want to use, so we know it's in property LU Southampton. We want to create a new selection. We're going to be using the information we have in this area here creates a formula for just to analyze and extract information we want. So we're looking for residential from the major LU category. So if we select double click major LU equals and we want our unique codes from there, by clicking that button it brings up a list of information on that major LU category. And then we want residential, so we double click that, it creates this formula, so GIS will select all of the residential data from the major LU category and click OK. You will notice that there are now blue highlights on all of the residential data. Because we only want to work with this residential data, the next step is to extract this information from the property LU South Brisbane layer to create a new layer. To do that, we head over and we right click on our label we come down to data and we click on export data. It will bring up a dialog box. We then want to select, we want to export our selected features. If we select all features, it will export everything in that data. So selected features. We then need to specify the location where we are going to save it. So you navigate through to the location where you're saving all of your data and then we first need to change it to a shape file so that we can use it and then rename the file something that you're going to remember. So in this case we're extracting the residential information from South Brisbane so we will call it Residential South Brisbane and select save then we click OK and GIS will extract that information into its own data set. And we will import it and check that it is the same and there is the residential information.